All right, guys, we're back. We got the subwoofer sitting in there, and I went ahead and put the uh, dividers in, and we'll go over all that here in just a minute. Uh, there is some more uh, securing locations um, here up underneath the seat, and you've got these this little tab right here and this little nut right here, and what it does is see that stud sticking up there in the back, right back up in there? What you do is you just take this little tab right here and you set it on top of there you don't even have to take that bolt out you just set the tab on top of it and then you take the the nut and stick it on top of there and tighten it down all right guys we're back we got it uh installed and you can see that it looks really really good uh the match uh on the on the duha is perfect with the uh interior and uh, i just wanted to show you uh the final part of the installation oh and you can see right here my buddy put the seat down uh, you can see how it fits and how how nice it looks in there in the front and uh, it just fits in there really nice and provides you with a lot of extra storage now we don't have this side over here strapped down yet but we do have this side and we left it off uh, for this reason so we can show you but uh, it secures with those brackets that I just showed you in the last video and uh, then you just loop it through right here and uh, you can see how it mounts back there on that little mounting tab you can see right there okay it's that little tab and uh, you got your strap going through there and it just tightens up and uh, holds the do in place even though it ain't gonna go anywhere because it's got these brackets that hold the subwoofer in so it's it's not gonna go anywhere without it but now on this side, it's a little loose, so you definitely need the uh, the strap on there. But uh, you can tell that this thing is really made good, and uh, I really like the uh, dividers in here. It helps you separate everything out, and, and if you had enough room in here, you, you could put a firearm, uh, like a, a rifle or whatever. And But uh, with this particular unit, it's got the subwoofer in here, so I don't think that that would be possible. So they, they just... Uh, they'll use those div dividers as whatever you need to uh divide off all right guys um uh, we've got the uh do haul in and uh as you can see um it's a uh, it's a nice fit i mean it fits really good up underneath the seat there and there is a, a little notch right there in the in the do haul and the reason they did that is so you put your hand up under there and flip the seat up real easy and it's just easy to get to so anyways guys i'm gonna wrap this video up now uh you all know that i'm a gm guy and so uh, i've got one of these installed in my truck and so i'm gonna take you down here and show you mine in, in my particular truck that i have and so if you're watching this video you can look at my other videos i have a video of the one that's in my 2017 gmc sierra so you know definitely check out my other video on it but i just wanted to show you how this one looks and how i've used it the last few months and i will say that it is a really really nice to have this in there as you can see on this one the match between the duha and the interior is dead on it couldn't be any more perfect and you just pull it up and you can see that it just fits under there absolutely perfect now mine is different than he is because um his is a ford and mine's a, a gm and uh they they fit in there a little bit different plus mine doesn't have the subwoofer under the seat so i have all this under seat storage so uh guys check duha out i'll leave a link in the description and uh, you know this is just a handy product to have in your in your vehicle you know i keep a lot of my emergency stuff in here you know i always keep like a, a battery uh charger to charge my rigid tools because i have a, an inverter that comes uh stock on the truck and uh i keep a flashlight in here with a, like an extra battery and you know if you're going on a long trip you could keep some rigid tools in here or whatever and and a pair of gloves and an extra oil filter and just you know a rag down here um yeah i keep my cane in here in case i get a gout attack uh, just whatever, you know, it's just really really handy to have all this stuff in your truck and it's not rolling around your back floorboard or bouncing on your seat or whatever So 
guys i'm gonna wrap this video up give do haul a call or check them out online you will not be disappointed with their products they're they're super nice now i will say that when i first started looking at them i thought they were more of a soft plastic but they're not they're uh, more of a a sturdy rigid type plastic and you know i really really enjoy mine and uh it just it just really really gives you a lot of storage room so hope this helps you guys out please subscribe talk to you guys later